If you need a professional workstation and you have $9,000, you have these two options. On one side we have Mac Pro with a 1.8 core Intel Xeon at 3 GHz, 64 GB of RAM and two AMD Fire Pros D700 GPUs. If you choose PC, you'll get two CPUs, each with 12 cores at 2.4 GHz, 64 gigs of RAM, and one NVIDIA Quadro K5000 GPU. For this video, I have prepared three benchmarking tests. Uh, the first one is Maya test, uh, sorry, Photoshop test, the second one is Premiere test, and the third one is Maya test. Let's start. Okay, the first part of the benchmark is Photoshop test. Download it yourself and compare it to your current computer. I've loaded the test as an action, as described in the article, and I'm going to try to press both play buttons at the same time. Okay, ready? Okay. Mac is showing some progress. The piece is already done. So, Mac took 11.9 seconds, while PC took 10.5. Ready for the second time? And go. I don't know why Windows computer doesn't show the progress bar. Okay, Windows done. Mac is done. Second time, 11.8 and PC 10.6 Okay, the second part of the test is Adobe Premiere test I took a movie trailer, 1080p chopped it into 6 pieces and applied a bunch of filters to each uh, Now same project is loaded into both workstations and let's see how they perform And we'll try to click both at the same time Okay. Let me move it closer. Well, looks very much the same. Yeah, a second faster. I expected PC to be two times faster than a Mac in this case, but then I noticed that Adobe software isn't optimized for multi CPU systems. As you see, only um, first 24 cores are working uh, in this video encoding. The third test is. 3D rendering speed. I'm using a Maya test scene. Both have the same settings. Okay, let's see. Also the speed. So CPUs are at 100 percent and here all 48 CPUs are also at 100% but you can see Mac is pretty much losing oh, PC is done rendering time 41 seconds Mac is still struggling And 
and done. One minute, 21 seconds, 41 seconds. So twice the speed. This is After Effects benchmark I will be using. Interestingly, um, After Effects for Windows doesn't allow me to use all 48 logical cores. So 32 is the maximum. And since uh, Mac Pro doesn't have more than 16 cores, that's all I can use here. The results are PC 36 seconds, Mac 45 seconds,